Hello, in this lecture I will show you how to find the Laplace equation so that you can calculate the internal pressure in droplets. First, let's assume that we have a spherical droplet as it may occur in many real scenarios. This droplet has a radius r and an internal pressure we can call p subindexed i n. If the internal pressure is positive, it applies a force pushing the liquid molecules outwardly. The droplet is made of a liquid whose outer molecules are in contact with another material, in this case a gas. Therefore, there are two phases and only one interface, liquid-gas. So, if this droplet is meant to exist, the internal force pushing outwardly and the external forces pushing inwardly should be balanced, otherwise the droplet would either burst or increase its internal pressure dramatically. Given this, the internal force should be equal to two external forces pushing inwardly, one due to the outside pressure and the second one, which is due to the force created by the curved surface of liquid willing to return to the second dimension, and this depends on the liquid surface tension. The internal force in this equation can be calculated as follows. Since we know how to calculate the area of a sphere, now the internal force equation can be rewritten as follows. The change in surface area due to a very small stretching causes the radio to increase from its initial to a final value. So, this change in total surface area can be calculated as follows. If we substitute in this equation the formula for calculating the area of a sphere, then we get the following. By factoring the perfect square binomial, we have We can eliminate this term for being very small or infinitesimal and then we can have that we need to calculate the work required to stretch the surface. Let us use the following expression. By substituting the change on total surface area we have, since work is the product of force and distance, then we can isolate and calculate force as follows. Remember, the increase in radio due to stretching is very small. If we substitute in this expression the amount of work for stretching, then we have Since we have already stated that the forces should be balanced, we can now substitute in this expression all the isolated equations as forced and then obtain the following expression. We can cancel some factors by multiplying both sides of the equation by the same factor. And we finally obtain this expression. That we can also write in the following way. This is the Laplace equation for droplets. This equation shows that the pressure increment inside a liquid with a curved surface 
is also size related. In other words, the smaller the radio, the larger the pressure increment is going to be. Remember, this mathematical deduction applies to droplets, which are bulk of liquid surrounded by gas or vapor. And in this case, there is only one interface. Thank you for watching and keep in touch.